know, with the, the new laws that were, were ran down our throat by the Republicans uh, included some, some language uh, that really hurt political parties and their ability to raise funds. So we're in a new day, a new era. Uh, we, ABC can't give a dollar to the Democratic Party and we can't give a dollar to them. So it's, these, are, these, are, these are tough days and we're going to have to reinvent ourselves. And I think the guy to do that, uh, to, to help us manage that, is uh, the Honorable Ed General, the new treasurer of the Democratic Party. If you give him a big round of applause. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's been my pleasure to help with environmental cleanups, for example, at Aniston. I think maybe some of you are from Aniston. I know Reverend Kelly has worked with me in that case, and I've worked with Judge Clement in helping victims. And I've learned a lot in that practice, and that is, in the end, you have to serve the people. And that's what this party is all about. And as, as we sit here and stand and we think about what just happened in this cycle, I think, I think like Representative Hubbard said, this is a great opportunity for us to rise as a grassroots party with every single person in this room to give. We can no longer have ADA or some other sugarcoat election that's now up to us. But you know, we're needed more now than ever. Just look at what has already happened since the last cycle. We have this quote ethics package, which is designed to keep people from organizing. Teachers can no longer have payroll withholdings. We have some of our best people indicted. One of our very best Democrats here in this state, Don Siegel, my law partner, was convicted wrongly for no good reason. Yeah. And as you sit here, you might recall that some of these lawyers here could help you, like Mr. McFerrin, uh, David Keelan, I think I see him there. We're getting our rights taken away in this state every day. Does everyone know about this Baptist hospital case in Montgomery? Oh, oh. Yeah. revolutionary. Yeah, the idea is that if you can have any affiliation with the state of Alabama, you are the king. You are immune. You cannot be sued. Where are the rights in that? But as we were all saying this morning, this is a great opportunity for all of us to build our party. We have to be a grassroots party. We won't survive or prosper because there's more of us than there are of them. And just as an example, did you know in this last cycle we had 350,000 yellow dogs vote the straight ticket? Did you know that there are more people on welfare in Alabama than voted for Bentley? We are the party of the people. We can take this back. But we need your financial help to do that. And, you know, I'm inspired by Kill a Mockingbird. You remember when Tom Robinson needed the money and the preacher locked the door until he had enough money? I'm not going to do that this time. <laughs> but I have pledge cards I'm going to pass around. A lot of this tithe for our church. Please consider tithing for your party. That's how we're going to grow. That's how we're going to take Alabama back. That's how we're going to protect the people. And with that, I'm going to pass this around. You might say, what's our party going to look like? It's going to look like you and the others who signed these cards. And it's, all I need from you is your name and your phone number and the amount you agree to give for the year. You can also put cash in the basket or checks. And we, did you know we need $30,000 a month just to cash flow? This morning I, I brought down $2,000 just to inspire everybody. I'd like people in this room to pledge or give $20,000 this morning if you could. And we might have to lock the door, but I thank you very much. 